The Late Show 2016 coverage is brought to you by GoingGear.com. Hey everybody, it's Chris, uh, Prepare My 101 at uh, Blade Show 2016. I'm here at the Freeman Knives booth. Uh, if you're not familiar with Freeman, they're the ones that are making uh, David from Ultimate Survival Tips knife. And I was not familiar with them myself. And I checked them out and um, flat out, their stuff is badass. And they make it out, some, out of some really cool stuff. So I definitely wanted to uh, do a table video. So uh, let's meet the owner and get a rundown of Freeman Knives. Hi, I'm Jeff Freeman with Freeman Outdoor Gear. Uh, we're here at the Blade Show 2016. Uh, thought we'd talk about some of the fixed blades that we make. We also make folders, but starting up we have a six and a half inch LSS PGK. It's a high wear tool still, similar in vein to the crew wear. Uh, PD1, Z wear knives, uh, blade steel. Uh, this is 3D machine, G10 handles. Uh, Cerakote coating, spec op sheet. We also do several versions of a, a five inch. This one here is a A2 tool steel as well. A um, little different steel, a little different wear characteristics. Spec op sheet. I also sell the, a lot of these folders. It's a real big hit. We have uh, bearings running on uh, G10, <laughs> G10. <laughs> we have grade 10 bearings, stainless steel, hard anodized aluminum handle, carbon fiber insert. This is, this is the one that I like. <laughs> this thing is awesome. What's, it, what's this one? This is the model 451, six and a half inch blade, 316 thick, G10 handles. Very light. They're light in the hand. Yeah. That was kind of the idea, do a little compact, but you still got a lot of blade. And then my neck knife, 316 S35VN, stainless. I do it with Cerakote. This one's tumbled. That's a neck knife where it can be configured for waist carry or pocket carry. All right, so uh, what, what's the website, Facebook, uh, where they find you? FreemanOutdoorGear.com. All right, thank you very yeah, much. Thank you. Hey everybody, it's Chris from Prepare Mind 101 here with uh, David from Ultimate Survival Tips hey at uh, Blade Show 2016. And we're going to take a look at uh, his knife for the first time. So let me swing really? it. Really? I didn't have any idea what you were going to do here. What? I didn't have any idea what you were going to do. Mm -hmm. All right, let's That's, do it. It's a knife show, so. <laughs> Man, come, come on, Jesus. All right, All right let's see here. Nice to meet you. David? He's not used, he's hey, not right. used to me. Good to see you. All right, give us the quick rundown, the quick and dirty on your knife here. The quick and dirty, all right, man. So, so this is the MSK-1. Oh, we just exposed one of its cool features, but we'll just start here. What I wanted is one knife for the rest of my life, so I wanted a ridiculously rugged knife that is more of like an all-in-one. There's no all-in-one perfect knife for everybody. I'm just gonna say that right up front. I designed this knife for me. I've been looking, you guys probably know me from YouTube and just like Chris, we- You're on YouTube? Yeah, I'm on YouTube. I've got one, yeah, oh, I'm on there. What's your channel? Um, it's called Ultimate Survival Tips. Um, if you search Google and go down like about four pages, you'll find me. Okay, yeah, so, so I wanted a knife. So I've been, I wanted a knife that was made for me and something that I could use hard and then that would survive and I could pass on to my kids and my grandkids. So this is the MSK-1, it's a great chopper. I was at Sigma-3 Survival School, got the first prototype, this is Proto-4. And within two days I just retired my hatchet. So we've got a really nice chopping action, uh, a nice medium grip hold, nice and smooth. And I worked with Jeff Freeman from Freeman Outdoor Gear and he suggested that we do an oversized choil because of his experience in the knife world designing the LMF2 and the 06 Auto and a whole bunch of other iconic blades to give people the opportunity to get right up on the wood and do fine carving. And you can see right here, this is actually done with my MSK-1 uh, in about an hour and a half, uh, two weeks ago. So, uh, quarter inch, full tang blade, 
and those are the big things. Just the chopper, good medium knife, good fine knife, good for all around uh, cutting, chopping. Cool thing is we designed these. Most knife makers don't want you to get in the handle. I want you to get in the handle because when I was a kid, I had a Rambo knife. But the problem was, and I want to tell you guys, go see Chris's spoof on Rambo knives. It's not a spoof, that was real. It was real. <laughs> and you unscrew the, the uh, compass at the end, it doesn't work because it's in metal anyway, and a cheesy kit comes out. I wanted a legit kit that uh, could actually save your life. So I worked with the guys at Wazoo Survival Gear, same guys that make the uh, ridiculously cool survival bracelets. And for almost two years on this, and we came up with a survival kit in the handle that you access using the bolts that Jeff and I designed, flat bolts. You can use any coin, penny, nickel, dime, uh, quarter, the, or... The tip of your folder. Tip of your folder, <laughs> tip of your folder, <laughs> no, don't do that. Um, or even a zipper pull on your jacket. To access this handle, we want you to get in there if you need to. We've got water taken care of, water purification. We've got tinder first aid. We've got a mini fire steel rod in here. We've got fire extenders and there are two, three ranger bands. Underneath here, we've got, uh, we've got hooks, sinkers, safety pins, and a magnetized sewing needle for navigation and for sewing up gear, even stitching yourself if you're things get the, that bad. You have the two extra split rings in case you lose your car keys. <laughs> and I do not have a bottle opener on this either. Uh, I, I know for some of you guys that just immediately you just clicked off of the video, but no bottle opener on this one. But we do have a cool fire steel striker down here on the pommel. And also in here you get 20 feet of 50 pound test uh, fishing line for sewing up gear, fishing, and stitching yourself if it gets really bad. Last big thing on this is the ACS sheath system, and this is a good example. This is the one we entered in the American Made contest here. You can see that this sheath is designed to bolt on the MSK mini knife, which we designed also. It's a neck knife that also takes two inch ferro rod, it can go right in the handle or one of our kit, one of the handle kit components can go right in this handle also. And then you can do a, a pre-wrap and then a strider wrap on that. So we've got the mini knife with the adaptable carry system. So these are bolt-on add-on tools. We've got the fire steel striker that we're still developing. This is on Kickstarter. Um, the coolest thing about this sheath is I always wondered why folks would design a great knife and not an awesome sheath system. Some people like Kydex, some people like nylon. We give you both. With the removal of one bolt here, the Kydex portion comes out. So now you have a standalone black Kydex sheath. You can hook on your belt. If you want to keep it in the nylon sheath, there's some cool features, including the add-on kit pouch, add-on kit pouch. So on the front of the sheath, we have molly webbing on the back of here, we have molly straps. You can add your own gear. This is my gear, it doesn't come with a pouch. And you can strap this right on there. Also, the add-on tools bolt on to the Kydex sheath also. So these tools will bolt on here. Last but, but not least, we've got multiple carry options with the nylon portion. One, I like to carry a drop leg like I have mine set up here a lot of the time. But some people want to carry a standard carry, more of a high carry. So I designed this so that the flap folds over, the strap goes up through here, bolts down so that for a high carry. Also, if you want to carry it inverted on a pack, you can do that because we have molly webbing and the strap built in. Those are the big things. There's a ton of stuff that went into this, but people can check it out on Kickstarter. It's 10 days left if you're at the time of this video. And uh, dude, I appreciate you stopping by. So, I didn't even know you were, we were gonna talk about this, honestly. Mm -hmm. I didn't know why you stopped here. So if I you, you just wanted watch, my coffee. watch <laughs> his video, I'll put the link in the description box below. You'll see like my first impressions of it. But I can say this, you know, I've seen people like questioning, you know, the price and stuff like that you're getting 
the money's worth. I mean, there's a lot going on here. A lot of engineering, a lot of quality, a lot of features. You know, it's not like most knives where, all right, you got the new knife, you gotta throw away the sheath, now you're gonna pay some Kydexer to make it. Everything's covered here. So definitely pretty cool, man. So you'll see some more stuff uh, with uh, me and David coming out soon.